A Palestinian tragedy broadcast live on Israeli television. A call to a doctor in Gaza who's been reporting daily for an Israeli station. His three daughters have just been killed. They've killed his family, he says. I think I'm a bit overwhelmed too. He then explains that Dr. Abul Aish is a Palestinian physician who's worked for years at an Israeli hospital. Who was hurt, he asks. He has eight children, the journalist explained. Maybe we can do something to help. Abul Aish, where is your house? The cameras then follow the journalist as he tries to use his contacts to send ambulances to help the survivors. Incredibly, he succeeds. The Israeli army allows a Palestinian ambulance to go straight to the Eretz border crossing. From there, the injured are transferred onto Israeli ambulances and taken to Israeli hospitals. Among them, one of the daughters who survived. For the most part of this 22-day war, Israeli journalists were not allowed to report from inside Gaza. And Dr. Abul Aish, a Hebrew speaker, was one of the rare voices bringing the reality of the Palestinian suffering into the Israeli living rooms. Everybody in Israel knows that I was talking on television and on the radio, that we are at home, that we are innocent people. Suddenly today, when there was hope for ceasefire, on the last day I was talking to my children, suddenly they bombed us. Is that how you treat a doctor who takes care of Israeli patients? Is that what's done? Is this peace? The Israeli army said a tank shelled the doctor's house in response to sniper fire coming from the building. Eyewitnesses denied that. Many Israeli viewers called the station to give the doctor their support. Moved by the tragedy of one father, made real by the power of live television. But over 90% of the Israelis still support the war on Gaza, while hundreds of other tragedies remain just the number in a rising Palestinian death toll. Rose Bregimova, Al Jazeera.